All right, y'all, what's going on? We just fixed to put out a video of our Christmas week. It's one of those um, those magical weeks that doesn't happen very often. Uh, we killed some very nice deer. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole group, the real teal group, you know, uh, guys that uh, I raise my kids around and uh, and some of the best hunters you ever run across, but they had a magical week. I was going on y'all. It is December the 25th, Christmas Day. Um, it's about it's about 7:15 in the morning. I came in here early way before daylight and uh, to a spot I've never been to where a cutover touched a pipeline. Expecting to be to get up in a tree in my saddle and see the cutover and the pipeline. But um map was a little outdated. So the cutover ended up being way too tall to see in. So I just sit on a pipeline, lean up against um, a light pole. Um, I can see about 150 yards before this ridge tops out. Um, there's two sl little creeks that cross in front of me, so hopefully I get some deer up on our feet this morning, cruising up and down those creeks. It's extremely cold. When I got out of the truck, it said 23. <laughs> um, I've got every jacket I got on. Um... I had to put gloves back on just a minute. Wore my little face shield. But it's cold. About to be the rut. So we're chasing bucks. See y'all in a while. Let's stay after them.
all together do a pretty good morning. Three does or two does a yearling. Two bucks, a little, little small something buck, three or four point, and uh, a shooter buck, a small shooter, but a shooter. You know, nine o'clock on the dot. I seen one at eight. The first one at eight. And the other, second two about eight o five, and those at nine o'clock. Not too bad of a day. We're gonna stay with it. We're gonna sit here probably another hour, hour and a half maybe. That's my plan at least, is to get out, back out at about ten thirty, come back in early, probably about one, one thirty, two at the latest, and uh, I'll be somewhere over here. We gonna stay after maybe. All right, what's going on, y'all? I am back at the same spot I was this morning. It's still Christmas Day, December twenty fifth. It's about 3.15 in the afternoon. Uh, it's got to about 45 degrees, I think, today. We're supposed to drop back down to mid-20s at dark. Uh, I seen five here this morning. I seen a shooter I couldn't get a shot on. So I'm back here this evening. Hoping he'll uh, push another door across or just come across to go feed at night over here in these oaks. Or another buck. Just We just hunt, maybe. We stay in after them. That's what we do. I'll, uh, I'll let y'all know what ends up happening. Right, boys it's Christmas afternoon uh, real to outdoors hunting in the uh, in the state of Mississippi uh, we had a good Christmas Just decided we'd come spend a little afternoon with God and uh, God has blessed me uh, let me take let you see what you can see if you ever need to go kill a buck Regal to your outdoors. Old Bryce can put you on them, son. Let's go down and take a look at him, see what he is. Oh, yeah, boys. That's a good. Oh, real good. There he is, boy. Big Mississippi eight point. Real to our doors. We stay after them, we knock them down.
little spike.
the little spike. <clears throat> I saw him about 20 minutes ago when I was on the phone with Rodney. He shot a real big eight point. So, but I saw him and I was on the phone with him across the, the power line. <clears throat> Just walking down a big thick ridge. He's only got spikes about maybe an inch. But uh, he just went on down the ridge. Well, I thought I heard something coming, so I got ready. And uh, I was filming over here because I thought it might be a bigger buck. And I turned to look. He was standing in the pipeline. But I'm assuming that's him. I heard he's probably just been feeding down that bottom. He ended up either getting a whiff of me. My back wind's kind of sucking back to war where he was at. I let it, he was just out there too long. He ended up spotting me. But um, he didn't blow or stomp. He just kind of trotted off when he finally got in the woods. I could hear him trotting. It is freezing, though. But uh, I've seen one of Dad shot a giant big buck on a real Tio crew, baby. Public land, as always. But we're going to keep hunting. We probably got about another 10, maybe 15 minutes. And probably on another 5 to 10 minutes of light for the camera. But as always, we're going to stay after them. I'll show y'all dad's deer when I get over there. Well, I'm sitting up on this big ridge up here. I mean, it must be 60 feet high. And I heard something I thought was a squirrel or something. I could hear it just... It been carrying on for five minutes. And then I looked down and I could see just the tip of tines coming down coming down through here. And I said, there's a buck. And I couldn't see nothing but from his his eyes and his ears up. And I said, uh, I'm gonna have to stand up to shoot him. And uh, I said, I can't do that, he's gonna see me. So I waited for a second and he took two more little steps. And when he did, just the top of his shoulder elevated above the ridge and I squeezed off on top of his shoulder and he hit the ground. Where you at? Mississippi. Public land. Public land. That is an Evermore Mississippi public land giant. Get down there with him, Pop. Big rod, deer slayer. Real teal on a bull with a hammer. That is a fine one there. That yeah. sucker must be 16, 17 inches wide. He's big. He's big. Heavy deer, too. Fat, heavy. Big mature buck. Public land stud. Now we got to get him up a mountain. Yep. Shine up that mountain, buddy. We got to go up. I know it's hard for y'all to see, but it must be a 60 foot bluff we got to get him up. We can't get the fooler down in here to get him. So we're gonna try to pack. Man, that sucker's a fine one. Whew. Well, Pop, the guiding service is on him. Thank you, buddy. Had to convince him to come hunting on Christmas Day. He pulled up, got dressed, and we hauled butt over here to make it in for the evening hunt. Worth a while now. We got a two-hour pack out. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, here come. We brought our pack mule with us, boy. We ready Look to at go. Him. Coming in. We're gonna get him. Yeah, I don't think it'd be as bad as you think. We all see y'all out when we get to the bike. We all hyped up on the journey. Big eight-point monk killed yesterday. Big old head on him.
All right, y'all. That was a peak in our week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we killed probably, be, I think, nine deer in about five days there. Uh, a lot of action, a lot of guys. Sorry, most of us not on video, but it's just the way we hunt, man. We runners and gunners, and uh, you don't you don't get to put the camera up. When we see him, he you got to shoot him. He's within uh, probably 50 yards of us most times. But uh, we had a good time bringing it, and hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all remember to like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell up in the top. Uh, you know us. We're going to stay after them.